Hey what's up guys, Plus Two Soul here. So this is the last week for Cards of the Day for Nisekoi. Uh It's coming out this Friday, looking forward to that. Uh, great cards and today we have a really interesting card for a 1-0 counter. So let's go ahead and look at that. And um, before we start I wanted to apologize about my voice. It's kind of I have a sore throat right now it's like pretty bad it's like it's every time I talk it hurts so uh, bear with me there but anyway we have a 1-0 rare 25 uh, power counter here it's Marika uh, basically the first effect is pay 3 uh, if you use a, um, the, the backup effect you can pay the cost if you do you can pick one of your opponents level or um, current level like the uh, character that has is basically a level higher than the opponent's current level so for example if they have a level 3 on the field when they're level 2 you can use this effect so basically if you use the effect you get to send that card to the waiting room so basically when you use a 1k counter which is it is and the second effect is a 1k counter if you use it and they have a level 3 character on the field at level 2 uh, you can go ahead and pay 3 cost and then send the card that level 3 card to the waiting room because um you know it's not supposed to be there because of its level kind of thing so basically this kills off some cards that you really don't want on the field so for example if your opponent has like um a level 2 character at level 1 then you can kill off that level 2 at level 1 because level 2 at level 1 is very annoying especially when it's in uh, vivid red operation or some other decks but vivid operation is pretty annoying because that vivid blue is like you know like god dang it like why is this here it's so huge I can't defeat this kind of thing so like um, this counter is really really good getting rid of some annoying cards and what was that what was that alright it's nothing just hearing things um, but yeah other than that um, this kills off some like really annoying cards on the field so uh, this cards really really good but at the same time it's kinda heavy in stock wise but I mean in order to get like get control back into the game you know you probably want this card you probably want to use that effect just because like, you don't want to be like behind so uh, this card's really good to, uh, like, to bring back the game state back to like you know to get control of the game again but yeah uh, it's a pretty good counter next we have a 2-2 Marika it's a 10k base uh, it's a common uh, when this card is played from hand to stage you have to ditch a character card from your hand to the waiting room um, if you don't, this card goes to the waiting room. Um, so it is a 2 2 10 k I mean, there has to be demerit for that. But the demerit is like, you know, you have to ditch a card from hand. It's not that bad, but at the same time, you don't want to really mine his hand. And not only that, if you don't do it, this goes to the waiting room. So instead, you probably want to do a change effect. So the 1-1 one, one change is a 6-5 base. Um, basically, pay 2, ditch a card from hand, and uh, put this card in the waiting room, and then bring out that level 2 character where this... Uh, this card was uh, the change effect is pretty heavy for a level one change it kinda hurts but I mean you're going from 65 to 10 K then obviously if you have support you know bigger um, it's not that bad of an effect if you're planning to run a pure Ma um, Marika deck but uh, competitive wise I don't think you should run this it's, that's just too uh, heavy of a cost to just to bring out this 2 2 10 K and again like if um, you're playing against Nisekoi they can just go ahead and use this card to get rid of that so yeah, I mean it's not it's not that bad of a card, but it's just the cost is heavy for this change for to play it into a competitive deck. So um, definitely um, pure Marika deck. Then yeah, this card is pretty good. Um, next we have Persona. This is a two one counter for Junus cards. Uh, Junus getting a lot of support in this extra booster set. Uh, basically, it's plus one K if you have another Junus character. Oh no, I'm sorry. If you uh, Take the top card of your deck and put it into the waiting room, and that card is a ju oh no, sorry, not waiting room. You top check your car uh, top card of your deck. If it is a Junus character, uh, you get to pick one of your characters and give it plus one K for the turn. Um, it is a twenty five uh, K counter base, but uh, you can make it thirty five if you top check a Junus character. And then obviously, if you're running Junus uh, a Junus deck, then all your characters are Junus. So. Um, this card is really good for Junus decks. Definitely, you don't want to run this in any other Persona deck. Um, Junus is getting a lot of support in this set. So, um, for those Junus players, I mean, this is a set to buy. But uh, other than that, this card is not bad at all for Junus decks. Like, this is definitely a card you want to run in your Junus deck. 
next we have Little Busters and Kyosuke finally gets a level 3. <laughs> um, it is traitless because um, in Little Busters this guy has no trait. But uh, basically if you have 6 or more climaxes in your waiting room, uh, you can play this card from your hand to the stage because it gets minus 1 level. And the second effect is a burn effect basically. Um, you can use this effect once per turn if this, when this card is played from hand to stage and then this card's attack is cancelled. You can basically um, mill the top card of your deck and then depending on the level of that card you deal that much um, damage so it's like the Musashi from Kantai if you reveal a level 3 your opponent takes 3 damage if you reveal a level 0 nothing if you reveal a level 1 1 2 2 um, so it's not that bad of a card at all I mean personally like I said I'm not that big of a fan of these cards but the cards that like basically ha let you mill and then burn more I mean that's not bad at all I, I, I personally think these cards are great but it's just not my style of playing so but again this card is really good the only problem about it it's traitless so you can't search it out unless you have like a search a searcher that searches out for traitless cards and and little busters they have that so if you're running those and this is probably something you want to run uh, next we have a Decapo card and I have no idea who this is uh, I did not know this card, I mean, this person existed in Decapo. I mean, she doesn't even have a name on the card, it's just like Shoujo. So, uh, basically it is a brainstormer for magic decks. Uh, pay one, tap this card, I mean, rest this card, mill the top four cards. For each climax, search a magic character from your deck and put it into your hand. Uh, this card's really good. I mean, there's been a lot, um, a lot of uh, magic searchers, or brainstormers in Decapo anyways, but um, if you, c you can just change up the card if you like this card art you can use that one you can use this card art you use this one kind of thing um i like this one i like her she her character design is nice but i personally don't play the capo so um it's not there's, this is like no use for me but other than that um pretty good cards today it's not bad at all um the one zero counter this is probably something you want you might want to run in isekoi uh still not sure yet but um i personally would wanted a, a one zero two k counter like one k one k kind of thing but uh, this card is not that bad at all. I mean, pay three to get rid of a card that you can't, you can't basically beat. So like, it's not bad. Good trade off. Uh, the Marika here change her to the level two. Um, again, I don't personally think you should put this in the competitive deck. This is pretty good if you have like a regular um, pure Marika deck or something else. Um, Junus, this is something you you need. Uh, level three Kyosuke. This is you know it's not what he caught. It's not necessary. I mean, it's you can run this in your competitive deck, but at the same time, you don't need to because there's a lot of other little busters cards, level three cards that can end game. But at the same time, this card's not bad at all. But if you're running yellow, then definitely run this. And if you have like the traitor shirt searchers, then uh, definitely I would run this. Um, the Capo brainstormer. I mean, this is this isn't the first one, but like again, this is actually pretty good for a brainstormer for uh, extra booster sets coming out so I, I think this is actually the best card I've seen in the Kapo Sakura, uh, the Sakura Sakura pack so um, I think this is a pretty good card this is like a card you might want to want might want to run if you don't have a magic uh, brainstormer um, before so uh, definitely a card you want to run but other than that yeah that's basically about it thanks for watching guys remember to subscribe like the videos comment down below and like our Facebook page laters